Accessibility options are mostly to make things easier for people who have physical difficulty using a device. But even if you don't, there are still some options in this section that you might find useful. Let's go check them out. To configure accessibility options, we go into Settings. And from Settings, we go into the General section. And in general, you see a little bit down here, we go into Accessibility. A few of these things here are new. VoiceOver is like a screen reader. It will read the items on the screen. Scroll down here a little bit. Larger type, that will, as it sounds, it can make the text bigger by using the slider here. Also, you have this section here for larger dynamic type. Now, dynamic type is a new feature, and right now the only apps that support dynamic type are those made by Apple itself. That's as of this recording right now. By the time you watch this video, there may be other apps that support dynamic type. So if you turn that on, those that do support it will allow you in those apps individually to make the type larger. Let me tap that and go back into accessibility here. Now, increase contrast, what that will do is, you know, the new look and feel of iOS 7 is this very nice translucent effect. Some people have trouble seeing that, so increasing the contrast will turn off that translucency and the interface will be much more flat. Now, as far as the reduce motion goes, that is also kind of a new feature you may have seen in iOS 7 is kind of this layered effect. And as you move the device around, you have some layering between bottom image up to the top icons and so on. And it kind of looks a little three-dimensional. Some people don't like that. It makes some people queasy, I suppose. So you can turn that off over here with that reduced motion. Now, on-off labels, that means that in certain areas, like you have here, like you have these little switches, that will put zero and one labels in their places. In fact, you can even see here in this on-off labels, it even shows you that little zero. And there's that little one now if you turn that on. Turn that off. By the way, I happen to know that the bold text, if you turn on bold text, you'll probably have to reboot the device in order to get that to work. And let me scroll down here a little bit more. And you see here under learning, we have this guided access option. And what that will do is if you're using a switch device, triple tapping the main home button will enable that switch device. And once you're done, just tap the button once and we're back at the main screen, and any of the settings you made will now be engaged.